Hey guys, what's up? It's Wednesday Talks with Jazz. How y'all doing? So excuse my voice. Because of the wonderful spring weather and the wonderful allergies, my throat and my nose is all congested and stuff, so I sound a little funny. It was worse before, so this is actually it's a good thing. I can actually talk a little more. So, and you know nothing gonna stop me from talking, so anyway. <laughs> So today on Wednesday Talks with Jazz, I wanted to talk about my modeling career and how it's going. I don't think I've been like updating you guys, which is so not cool because this is what my whole YouTube page is supposed to be about, is modeling. So I wanted to tell you guys that I've had a second test photo shoot. My first test photo shoot I had on my birthday, which is in my birthday vlog, so go check that out. But um, I had my second one and it was really good. Uh, I worked with my modeling coach. Her name is Marissa Stearns in there thinking like okay like my first test photo shoot went really well like I really don't have that much to work on but I really did <laughs> I really had a lot to work on little things but I want to talk about those things with you guys I want to give you some tips and stuff so um but before I talk about those tips I just wanted to say that I'm so happy that I finally got into the agency that I have an agency it's only honestly it took me I'm so happy that it only took me a short amount of time to find an agency and and I'm doing these photo shoots and I'm learning so much and I don't know I'm really happy like yeah it's only been two months I've started this journey with YouTube two months ago I started you know the modeling and trying to pursue my my modeling career two months ago going on three now and I already have two test photo shoots I'm signed with an agency and I'm just you know getting some some work done <laughs> so um yeah so it's just been really well really good I have another test photo shoot that I want to do I'm doing these test photo shoots to see where I'm at to see what I need to work on to see what I need to practice and also to make sure that I am perfect for when I do my portfolio because that's my next step after this test photo shoot is to do a portfolio and then I get to start sending them out to those you know Lane Bryant's and Torrid's and all those plus size boutiques and stuff so <laughs> boutiques and stores and commercial you know I want to do commercial modeling so all that I will be in your stores soon I own the display light with up. <laughs> So that's what's been going on really with my modeling career so like I said my last test photo shoot I had um, my modeling coach there and she gave me some tips and so I wanted to share with YouTube she said I can share it with you guys so I want to share with you guys these it's about a few tips I don't know how much it is it's a few tips that she told me that I need to work on and I have a few pictures that I will show you guys um, from the test photo shoot actually that I took that, that that were taken of me and I'll show you my mistakes and I'll show you the things that I need to work on you know and these things you know if you want to be a plus size model these things are things that you should look for I didn't know about these things so when I had this test photo shoot with my modeling coach like it was really good because I'm like oh I didn't even think about that or I didn't even think about that I didn't think about that <laughs> so you know, you there's not a lot of like YouTube videos about plus size models. Why? Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. Cause I, even when I was starting out like two months ago, I was really trying to figure out, you know, what I was trying to look up. Like, oh, like how to become a plus size model and like what are the steps? And there's nothing. Like I'm probably seeing like one or two videos. So I'm gonna help y'all out. I'm gonna be the third video. Four, five, six video. Because <laughs> I'm going to make more videos about how to become a plus size model. So let's get right into it. Got my little handy book for notes and stuff. Because this picture, my hand's on my hip. But there's not that much space because of how I have my hand positioned on my hip and where I have it positioned on my hip. So for, you know, the future and for what, you know, my modeling coach has told me, is that you know bring your hand down a little bit and put your hand that way the way it is in this picture now this picture you can see that my hands a little bit down you know closer to my butt <laughs> my butt talks <laughs> no my hands a little closer to my butt and my hand is you know it's positioned differently so instead of my hand being the way it was in in this picture it's actually like this in this picture 
So if you can see the difference, there's more of an opening there, there's more of an angle there, um, and it just looks so much better. And you know, you I pose like that a lot for my Instagram pictures and stuff like that. You never realize like, you know, you're you're kind of minimizing your angles and how you look because now you can see my curve more than what you can see it in this in the, in the other picture. This next picture, um, some of the tips that she had told me. So when you want to do a looking away picture. You know, you want to look away, kind of. Follow your nose. So wherever your nose is, that's where you look. You just look diagonally straight. So here's my nose. I'm looking at you, right? Here's my nose. I'm looking there. You don't want to have you looking here and then you look look away. Because then all you see is the white, as in you see in the picture. You see a lot of the white in my eye rather than you see in my whole eye. And it kind of, sometimes it looks really weird. Like you could just see that... It's all white and that's all you see instead of, you know, just following your nose and just looking. So here's my nose and you just look straight and you get that look away picture. Even if you want to look up, just make sure that you're following your nose. It's like, it's like a dance. You know what I mean? This whole modeling is a dance. It's a dance. It's a whole, it's, it's harder than what people think. And I, me, I like, I'm like, oh, I'm so photogenic. Like this is going to be easy. No, it's really hard. It's hard because you got to think about your face. I cannot stress enough that yes, while you're posing, you're done saying to your, oh, I just realized that my phone was going off. Okay. Sorry about the phone beeping. I just realized that my phone was on and my friend's texting me. So ignore that. <laughs> you want to do a looking away picture. Just make sure that you follow your nose. You know, I did it in this picture here. Um, and you can see that I just followed my nose and I just looked where my nose was. The, the same angle. That's what Marissa told me. So I'm telling you guys. So you can use that as a tip. <laughs> this is another big thing. So especially if you want to model clothes and you want to do commercial modeling, you're going to be modeling clothes. So, when you do that, you got to make sure that you are aware of what you're wearing. I had bought a cardigan with me, as you can see in this picture, and I wasn't aware of what I was wearing. I just was posing and not really realizing that, oh, your hand is covered by your cardigan. So, you want to make sure that you are putting your hands over the cardigan, making sure that you're not gathering um, it too much. So, in this picture, you can see that it would have been a nice picture if my hand was over. <laughs> my cardigan because now it looks like my hands are chopped off as for this picture too both of my fingers are chopped off well both of my hands of uh, whatever both of my hands are chopped off basically because of the cardigan is over my fingers so it's not a good look especially if you're trying to model clothes like they're looking for that they want the clothes to look good on you so if you're covering your fingers it kind of looks weird and it actually makes you look a little bit more boxy than what you really are um, so when you now in this picture you can see like um, you know my hands are over the cardigan you can see my curve more is more of angles more depth of you know everything so it looks better so just make sure that you're aware of that also you know as when you're wearing pants like you know people like to put their hands in their pocket don't tug on the pocket I've done that <laughs> I do that all the time you know, you got the heavy hands. I have I have this thing called heavy hands, I guess. <laughs> I made that up, by the way, just now. <laughs> yeah, I have this thing called heavy hands that I just made up, made up by me. I have this thing called heavy hands, and so when you are modeling clothing, when I put my hands in my pocket or I put my thumbs in my pocket, I'm tugging on the clothing, so it's giving like a ripple effect. And that's not cute. Again, like you're messing up the clothing that you're supposed to be modeling. And that's not how, you know, these stores want to see their clothing on, on, on display. Be aware of that. Kind of have a softer hand when you're putting your hands in your pocket. Um, more so, don't really put your thumbs so much. Because even when you put your thumbs, it still kind of looks like you're grabbing it. It's a little annoying. It, it depends again it depends on the type of pants like those type of pants that I had on they're kind of jogger and stretchy so they um it just whatever it just did that when I put my thumbs in my pocket so I so she my modeling coach actually told me to put my whole hand in my pocket and it looked better you know just a softer look but even when you're doing that make sure that you're not again like tugging down or doing too much 
like your wrists are not you know like how this picture looks like my wrists are kind of like heavy like it's like a heavy kind of look so it's like pulling down on my pockets so just make sure you just slide your hands in and place them there another thing is angles guys um angles is really big you know they people love to see photographers love to see the angle the z shape angle you know make sure you're twisting your body a little bit just it gives us a little like you know shoulders back head up head down follow the camera make sure you guys are following the camera wherever the camera is that's where you look that's where your head is you don't want to have the camera guy or the photographer down at the bottom and you're looking up because then they see up your nose <laughs> and it's not cute trust me i have a few pictures like that and it's not cute so follow the camera look down with him look up where he's at in this picture here you can see that i have angles you can see that my hands are in my pocket, but it's very, like, you know, subtle. And, yes, I could have put my arm out a little bit more to have, like, that, that more of a, an angle there. But because my legs are crossed, there's an angle. Um, with, with your legs being crossed as well, make sure that your feet are kind of parallel. Because my feet, I mean, it's not bad, but my foot could have been turned a little bit. Um, just a little bit, just so that you can see that. It's there. Make sure that when you do cross your feet that you are making a space. So like your foot is a little bit in front of the other one. Just because when you cross your feet, it's on top of each other. And so it looks like one big shoe. <laughs> so just be careful that when you're crossing your feet. Like with this picture again, I put my thumbs in my pocket and I made sure that I was soft with it. And just make sure that your feet are parallel when you're taking pictures like this. And in, in, in most pictures, just make sure that your feet are parallel. So don't have one foot straight and the other foot turn. Like, it looks weird. It Trust me. Or both foot, like, turn. Like, I don't know. I did that. I don't know how. But, I'm, you know, I did that. Both of my feet were looking like, it looked like a cartoon. Actually, I'll show you the picture. Here's the picture. You see that? That's not cute. <laughs> it looks awkward. So, yeah, just make sure that your feet are parallel. You know, just try to keep them that is not awkward and it doesn't look weird honestly sometimes the awkward pictures are really the good ones if you feel awkward as you're posing and you feel uncomfortable then you're doing it right yeah i learned that <laughs> and honestly my modeling should make you tired because you do feel awkward and you're trying it's a lot guys again don't forget your faces i did in the second shoot like the second shoot i forgot my face i did and it was more of like a mean face and like a thinking face because i was thinking i was thinking about all the poses that she was telling me and everything so just make sure that you guys are you know being aware of your face and your poses it's a, it's a dance and it's a lot involved in it um now for this picture here you can see my hands are behind my head but it looks a little awkward and there's not a mu there's not much space you know you need that space and more of an angle. And so what, she, what Marissa had told me was when you are doing pictures like that and putting your hand behind your head, make sure that you lift from your elbow. So my hand is here. When I lift from my elbow, you can see more of a, a, um, a space. It's more better. As, as you can see in this picture, you can see there's more of an angle there. Um, there's more of a negative space there and you can see like the shape of me more than you did with the picture where my hand was you know I just put my hands behind my head instead of really lifting that elbow you lift from your elbow not from your shoulders but from your elbow like you lift your arm up it's very uncomfortable and it feels really weird but I'm telling you guys it looks great it looks better than you know it just looks better um so just focus on that Focus on your space, your spaces, your angles, your face. Again, I cannot stress it enough. When you're posing, just don't forget your face. That's one of my things that I've been really working on is trying to pose these different poses and remember all these different poses and remembering my face. And another thing is, with this is something that Marissa told me. And she said that I'm a good beginner model. I'm actually a great beginner because I took direction and I executed it. So everything that she told me you know, everything that I was working on, I did it. Everything that she told me to change, I changed it. Don't be one of those new models that's like, oh, I got this in the bag. I know what I'm doing. Because then the person's not going to want to work with you anymore. Because you're not listening. Because sometimes you can go to a shoot and it could be the same person and they want you to smile in, all these shoot, in, in the whole shoot. 
and then the next time they don't want you to do that they want you to have a serious look they they have a look they have a vision so when you listen to them and they t and, you, and you really take the direction and you execute it they're going to want to work with you more so don't be like a know-it-all i know what i'm doing i'm a model because honestly sometimes you don't <laughs> So, guys, I hope this video was really helpful. I will be um, doing more videos like this and giving you guys some more pointers on how to become a plus-size model as I do, as I move in my journey in becoming a plus-size model. Um, I'm learning with you guys, so learn with me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed Wednesday Talk with Jazz, too. because I know that this is not like one of my videos I usually do. It's like funny and I'm all like ugh, animated and stuff. I'm still animated, obviously, because that's just what I am. That's who I am. I can't help it. I'm just really animated. So, <laughs> but I know this is not as funny as, um, it's more of an informational video, which I could do sometimes. So don't hate, you know, still like it and subscribe and comment and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, stay tuned for next week with Wednesday Talks with Jazz. Actually, stay tuned for my next video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been putting up videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So, you know, just look out for me on those days. I love you guys for watching. Thanks for following my journey and becoming a plus size model. And I'll see you guys later. As I say goodbye, all that extra stuff. You gonna get your model face. You gotta get your model face on. Honestly, my model face is really smiling. The money maker, that commercial smile, like oh. This is go, go, go. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Hey.